Let's talk more about Marie Ivanovich. Of course, she is a career diplomat, uh, not a political appointee. Democrats have high hopes for her public testimony. Republicans are preparing their ways to push back to what she has to say. Our Alex Markard explains a little bit more about who she is, her background, and why this public testimony is so important to the Democrats' case. I became increasingly aware of an effort by Rudy Giuliani and others, including his associates Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman, to run a campaign to smear Ambassador Yovanovitch. The former ambassador, Masha Yovanovitch, has been treated poorly caught in a web of political machinations both in Kyiv and in Washington. U.S. Diplomat Ambassador Bill Taylor and Deputy Assistant Secretary of State George Kent kicking off the first public impeachment hearings by defending their colleague Marie Yovanovitch. The ousted ambassador to Ukraine is the next to testify in front of the House committees. She defied the Trump administration and appeared before lawmakers last month after the State Department tried to block her testimony. In it, she leveled stunning allegations about a shadow Ukraine policy led by Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal lawyer. She called it, quote, a partisan game, a game that would eventually result in her own removal. She was sworn into ambassador as ambassador, U.S. ambassador to Ukraine in 2016. She was unexpectedly recalled from her post in May, months earlier than expected. Dr. Fiona Hill, the White House's former top advisor on Russia, testified that the ousting of Yovanovitch, a well-respected career diplomat, was a turning point. This was a politically motivated move. It was orchestrated by Giuliani based upon uh, interests that had nothing to do with foreign policy. Yovanovitch testified that late last year, she learned from Ukrainian officials about a concerted campaign by Giuliani and a former Ukrainian prosecutor to undermine her, and that they were going to, quote, do things, including to me. George Kent, the top State Department official on Ukraine, corroborated her story, testifying that a Ukrainian official was behind the campaign. This was like a thriller. All these people spreading rumors, undermining her position. There's a history of this. You'd expect her to be smeared by corrupt Ukrainians and Russian interests because she was implementing U.S. foreign policy with respect to anti-corruption. What's new is that President Trump and Rudy Giuliani really allowed themselves to believe these conspiracy theories. Yovanovitch told lawmakers that she learned she was being sent home at 1 a.m. with a phone call from the State Department. She was told, this is about your security. You need to come home immediately. You need to come home on the next plane. That smear campaign orchestrated by this irregular channel was successful in removing a U.S. ambassador. The president has mischaracterized what happened on the July 25th call with the president of Ukraine, claiming it was President Zelensky who first criticized former ambassador Yovanovitch during the conversation. Even if you listen to the very good conversation that I had, a very, very good, no pressure, congenial conversation with the new president of Ukraine, uh, he had some things that were not flattering to say about her, and that came out of the, uh, out of the blue. But that's not true. In the rough transcript, which was released by the White House, it's the president who brought it up first, saying the former ambassador from the United States, the woman, was bad news, and the people she was dealing with in the Ukraine were bad news. So I just wanted to let you know that. Asked by House investigators if she felt threatened, Yovanovitch responded, yes. I heard very, very bad things about her for a long period of time. Not good. The campaign to remove the U.S. ambassador disturbed many others at the State Department as well including Michael McKinley, a former senior advisor to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who went to his boss three times, according to his testimony, urging Pompeo to release a statement in support of Yovanovitch, which Pompeo has publicly denied. That in May, when that took place, he didn't say a thing to me. It's deeply troubling when the Secretary of State is lying to the American public about anything, and most certainly when he's lying about any step to protect a member of his staff. The post in Ukraine was Yovanovitch's third time as United States ambassador. Her first was under President George W. Bush, part of more than 30 years in the Foreign Service. Alex Marquardt, CNN, Washington.